OK, so here are the answers to the questions at the end of the previous chapter. So why don't you pause the video while you tick them off and you can carry on with the next chapter, which is... Hormones. There are various internal conditions in the body which need to be controlled. Water content of our bloodstream, tissues and cells needs to be controlled. We get rid of excess water in our breath, via sweat and in urine. Iron content, this is mineral ions, are excreted via sweat and urine. Our temperature needs to be kept fairly constant because that maintains the best conditions, the optimum conditions for enzymes to work effectively. And our blood sugar needs to be kept at a constant concentration because this provides cells with a constant source of energy for respiration. So what are hormones? Well, hormones are chemicals which are secreted by glands and they're transported in the bloodstream to the target cell or the target organ. And the job of a hormone is to regulate the functions of organs and cells. So how is the menstrual cycle controlled by hormones? Well, there are three hormones that you need to know about. FSH is secreted by the pituitary gland, which is in the head. And the action of FSH is to stimulate eggs to mature in the ovaries. And it's also to stimulate the ovaries to start secreting oestrogen. LH, also secreted by the pituitary, has the action of triggering ovulation, which is the release of the mature egg. And oestrogen, which is secreted by the ovaries, the action of oestrogen is to inhibit any further secretion of FSH. We don't want any more eggs maturing when we've just released one. Remember, here's a good way to remember this, H is for head. So if the hormone has an H in it, so if it's FSH or LH, then it's produced by the gland in the head, which is the pituitary. And if it's got an O in it, so oestrogen has got O's in it, then it's produced by the ovaries. Controlling fertility. Now the contraceptive pill contains oestrogen and sometimes it contains progesterone as well, or sometimes it's progesterone on its own. And the job of the contraceptive pill is to inhibit FSH so that no eggs mature. In the early days, pills contained high doses of oestrogen, which caused side effects. Nowadays, the modern pill contains less oestrogen, or it's progesterone only, and the progesterone only pills cause fewer side effects. Fertility treatments are the opposite of the contraceptive pill. It's about helping people to have children. So fertility treatments include giving FSH and LH when the woman's natural levels are too low for an egg to successfully mature. In IVF, now you need to learn the sequence of steps in IVF. First of all, they use FSH and LH to stimulate the maturing of the eggs. Next, the eggs are collected and fertilized with the father's sperm in the lab. Next, the embryos are allowed to develop. Then, when they're a tiny ball of cells, one or two embryos are put into the mother's uterus where, hopefully, they'll develop into a fetus. Now, only one or two embryos are implanted. If both of these embryos grow into fetuses, if the woman is then having twins, this is called a multiple pregnancy or multiple birth. Now, multiple births are, unfortunately, high risk. The babies are born at a low birth weight, which means they have a lower chance of survival. And also, multiple pregnancies have a higher risk of miscarriage. So, multiple births really should be avoided if possible. Plant hormones. Now, the name of the plant hormone that you need to be familiar with is auxin, A-U-X-I-N. And this plant hormones controls 
phototropism, which is growing towards the light, and gravitropism, which is growing towards gravity, when it's unequally distributed. Now, oxen is funny. It has a different effect on the shoots and the roots. Oxen increases growth in shoots, but it decreases growth in roots. And I find the best way to remember that is to think oxen makes the shoots shoot up. Plant hormones can be used to encourage root growth in cuttings and they can also be used as weed killers. These are two industrial uses of plant hormones. So this is phototropism in the shoot. This is the shoot growing towards the light. You can see the light is coming from the left. The oxen is unequally distributed. It collects on the shaded side of the shoot. Now oxen makes the shoots shoot up, so it'll encourage growth on the shaded side of the shoot. So faster growth on the shaded side means that the shoot will start to grow towards the light. So gravitropism in the root, oxen moves towards gravity, so it'll collect on the underside of the root. Now, oxen makes the shoots shoot up, oxen stops the roots from growing, so if it collects on the underside of the root, then it'll slow down growth on that side. If the upper surface continues growing normally, that'll have the effect of bending the root slightly, so it now will grow downwards towards gravity. OK, so that's the end of this chapter. Hopefully you've printed off all the notes, so you can have a go at these questions now. You'll find the answers at the beginning of the next chapter. Good luck!